So hi there, my name's Kate, and I ride a Cube full suspension e-bike. Off-road routes as much as possible. I don't do technical, difficult, high-level routes. Don't mind some stone, rougher tracks. But jumps, drops, that kind of thing, uh, no, not for me. I like to keep safe. I just like to be off-road. Sensible routes, enjoying the countryside. And that's why I'm popping these routes on YouTube in the hope that you can share some of these rides and enjoy them as much as I do. So for today's ride, we're well, parked up beside the bush shelter in Lawton. And we're turning left through the access sign, six foot six. And we're heading down towards our first section of off-road. And here we go. We take a left turn here. Oh this route is unsuitable for motor vehicles but it's the public way to Mossa bridal way two and three quarter miles I forgot how steep this is wow Burrell farmhouse on the left. That's appropriate. And here we go. Onto the rougher trail. Still going upwards. So this is a lovely loose gravel trail. And basically is a climb up and then a drop down. A tidy distance, probably a couple of miles long. But really lovely, keeps us nicely off road. And that's what I like. Now you'll notice I'm still riding by myself. My husband's six weeks into his knee replacement and everything's looking good, but not yet up to riding these routes. It really is beautiful. There's some fantastic views to the right hand side. And we're looking right across to the west coast. And I think it's clear enough to see across Concentrate Kate. Across to Criffle on the Scottish side of the Solway Firth. Just pull in so you get an idea of the views. I'm sure that's Crifford on the other side of the Solway Firth, looking across towards Scotland. Crack on. So we're at the top and we're now going to have a nice ride downhill. I've done this route a few times. This ride is to take in this public way and another one that takes us down to the shores of Loweswater. From there we're going to turn right, follow the road, go up Fangs Brow and take a bridleway on the left which takes us on a terrace above Loweswater with some fantastic views. And that route is part of the old coffin route. 
then drop down Maggie's Bridge. Back onto the road. I yet don't know whether I'm going to go past the Kirkstyle Inn. It depends on what the weather does, if I'm honest. At the moment, it could go either way. But then, take a minor road back to Low Lot and where we set off from. And as you can see, it continues to be a good surface just right for these bikes. Nothing technical at all. Mm. I thought that was a good smell. I've just spread some manure on the field to my right. Nothing like the smell of the countryside. Having said that, I'd rather smell fresh manure than exhaust fumes in a city centre. We're just coming up to the junction with the minor road at the far end. And at this point, we've come to 2.8 miles. And that says, the sign says public way to Low Lawton, two and a half miles. So yeah, that would be about right. So we're going to turn to the left here, onto this minor road, heading in the direction of our next off-road section at Mossa. So just ride through the little hamlet, continuing on our way. Signed, Lowe's Water, unfit for motor vehicles. This is the bit that takes us on through a farm, onto a bridleway or a byway. And that's where we're heading. And going through the farmyard, we've come not quite four miles. Right through the farmyard. And this shortly turns from tarmac back to gravel. Continue to climb. The tarmac's starting to vanish now. Getting onto a lovely rough track. Just right. Whew, it's easy enough for it. of broken tarmac in places. A few puddles, because there's been some heavy rain recently. But so far, all good. And before very long, we should get some amazing views down onto Lowe's Water. Now, just ahead here, we've got a gateway. The right-hand side path takes you down a rather, well, a grassy track to start off with and then it becomes rather rough and rocky and down through some buildings and, and down to those water. But I'm going to take the left-hand path here and drop down somewhat more gradually down to those water lake shore. Should be able to get some lovely views down onto Lowe's Water just along here. I'm just going nice and steady. The ground is a bit muddy and that means a bit slippy. We don't want to risk anything. Beautiful. 
So the plan is, on the far side of the lake there, about halfway up the hillside, you'll see there's a trail going across. And the plan is to head off up there and drop down at the end of the lake, back onto the low level trail. Fabulous. Onwards. Wash out down here. quite so cautious but I'm not willing to have a fall when I'm riding by myself. That would not be a good idea. The husband though has a link to Strava. I've sent him a, um, a link I suppose it is so that he can monitor where I am just in case. from chest height your view is restricted and when I'm sat up here I've got a really nice view of the lake um, but I'm just wondering whether it will show up from the GoPro nearly down it looks as though they might be doing some wood clearance here and they're doing that everywhere actually as long as they replant so this is it, we're down onto the, the road alongside Lowe's Water itself and we're going to turn to the right. Onto the section that's closed. I wonder why it's closed. Ah, we're doing some retail marking. Well, nobody jumped out and shouted at me, so let's crack on. And at this point, we've done 5.5 miles. So we're just travelling past the end of Lowe's Water. We've got the Grange Country House, guest house on the left, I'm oh, sorry, on the right hand side. And on the left would be the bridle way that would take you along the lake shore. But we go past that turning and we're going to do a road climb on Tarmac up Fang's Brow to the turning at the top on the left, a bridle way onto the coffin route. Yeah, it's getting steeper. Just dropping the gears. Yeah, Fang's Brow. I'm pleased I've got power. It's not steep steep, but it's quite a prolonged hill climb. So just coming up the top of Fang Brow, and we've got on the left a public bridleway. Signposted Lowe's Water, two miles. Through the gate, that's where we're heading. Here we go. Nice gravel track at this point. Not too many problems at at this stage and at the gateway we've come roughly eight miles. The junction ahead we've got a fork to the left goes directly down to the, the route along Lowe's Water. We're going to the right actually up the Coffin route. So that is rather lovely seeing the belted Galloways there with the spectacular backdrop. 
onward. Oh yes, I can see to the right there's quite a climb. That should be fun. And maybe a little bit rockier as well. So dropping my ears. of where we've come from and the views out across to the solar Firth and beyond. Just a bit murkier now though. This is beautiful. Onwards and upwards. As you can see, this has now turned into a, a more compressed stone route. A bit rougher, but nothing loose, or at least not at this point. The route starts to descend a little. And I think once we get further on, we're going to have the tremendous views I expect. It's the beauty of recording this. When I get home, I can actually watch it. back to more compressed, dry mud, with some rocks compressed into it, grassy surface. Good track at the moment. Oh, and there we go. We've got Lewis Worth water on the left, and we're looking out onto Crumquart. Truly amazing. In fact, across the water, you can see the route that we've come down. That sort of line through beside the trees coming down just to that point, that clump of wood there. Beautiful. And at this point, we've come just over nine miles. bit rocky but perfectly rideable with these bikes. Just get a peer away from the drop. So we're going to go down across the stream by the looks of it climb again. Huh? 
up. Make sure I've got my gears down. This looks a little bit more challenging. Beautiful grass through bracken. Well used, this path. I've passed at least half a dozen people, either walking or cycling. You can blame them. It's gorgeous. Views are spectacular. Bit of gravel. Oh, I've got a flippin' narrow bridge. Let's see what happens here. I think I can ride across it on the right hand side. Yep. Just lost confidence on the, the get out there. to grassland now just for a short distance I can see the track ahead of me and at this point we've come just over ten and a half miles so coming through that gateway beautiful the lakes are down there in the bottom <laughs> they're just hidden from view even so, the hills are fabulous. And that is where we've come from, from those that twist of trees and along. Top side of it, that is. Might have a bit of wash out here. Let's try to get it over to the... Gated, and we're down to another gate. And the farm. So through the farmyard and out onto the lodding. what I think is called Maggie's Bridge. To the left is the Lakeshore route round Lowe's Water 
and the parking area here is to the right. We'll go around to the right and onto a very minor country lane. So probably no more than a quarter of a mile up from the car park onto another road and we turn to the right. And at this point we've come 11.7 miles. So we're carrying on down the road and we're going to turn off for the Kirk style in. Not that I'm going to be going to the pub. It's only about one o'clock in the afternoon. But I just thought it'd be nicer to take the quieter route. Oops, nope, it's not that one. It's this one here. So we're gonna just take the route on the right, signposted Kirk style in. It's like a, a horseshoe shaped quieter road. Although to be fair, they're all quiet at the moment because the Lowswater Road is closed, so probably picked a good day to ride this. And here we go, Kirk style in the pub. Nice oldie world pub that's been there a long, long time. And then we come back out onto the same road and we're going to turn to the right. So 12.5 miles. We're going to cross the bridge here and immediately turn to the right and go through a National Trust car park and head off onto another bridleway. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. So here we go. Through the woods. And where the road forks here, we're going to go to the left on the bridleway. Onwards and upwards. This is a nice gravel track. Now this bridleway takes you through a short little of crossing. Get out of this, guys. Uh, short loop be going across grassier track. I'm just hoping it's not overgrown. But it comes out on the road that leads down to Crummer Quarter. And we'll be going left. Turbo and bottom gear. It may not look steep, but it is. Hello. I'm going on a little bit for you. Oh, that would be good. Thank yeah. you. No, it's a motor. <laughs> you can tell. <laughs> you still put in some effort, I can tell you. Thank you so much. Thanking you, yes. It's amazing. <laughs> that was nice. So through the gate, and this is the grassy bit I was on about. We'll just see how we go. I'm hoping that because it's a well-used walking route and probably cyclists, it should be less overgrown than some of the byways I've ridden lately. I've vowed that at this time of year, this is the end of June, not to ride country bridleways that nobody use. Because it just gets silly. You get nettled, you get brambled. But you can see we're going ahead and it looks clear. Right at the bottom here, through the gate, we turn left onto the road. 
And at this point we've come 13 and a half miles. And as we come along, we have a bridleway here on the right hand side. Leads to a farm. And then onto the minor country road heading through to High Lawton. That's where we're heading. Nice gravel farm track at this point. And through between these buildings, we head straight ahead towards this little gate. Through this gateway. And uh, we're just going to walk through. So that was High Hollins. At this junction, we're going to turn to the right. Now, this is a really lovely, quiet country lane. So you can go grass in the middle of this. Something I really love. It just means it's a quiet lane. Love it. So just finishing the ride now, back to High Lawton. And then we turn left and head into Low Lawton where we've parked the car. An absolutely spectacularly beautiful ride. I don't think there's anywhere that should present a problem to most people, but I appreciate that everybody has different riding abilities. Up on the coffin route above Lowers Water, there was a couple of steep sections, a little bit of rocky sections, but in the main, amazing. And as I always say, if needs be, get off and walk. And I've got the husband ahead of me. He's testing out his new knee. He's just cycled on this road towards me from Low Lawton. Just testing out to see his knee can cope. He's done a few of these little tester rides, just a couple of miles. Starting to build up the strength in that right leg of his. Just riding into High Lawson here. And we're going to turn to the left. About 100 yards. And we're going to take a right hand turn. And this is where I'm going to say ta for now. And at this point we've come 17 fabulous, amazing miles. 